Hello guys, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for late stopping by. Please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God Almighty bless you all. Finally, it has happened. President Gulag Jonathan has formally defected to the ruling All Progressive Congress APC in a bid to recontest for president in 2023. Hmm. This comes hours after disowning a nomination form purportedly procured for him by a Northern group. Fully reports that a coalition of Northern social cultural groups basically of Fulani extraction purchased 100 million Naira nomination and expression of interest forms of the APC for the former president to contest for president again in 2023. Jonathan swiftly rejected the presidential form purchased for him on Monday. Speaking through his media advisor, Ikechiku Eze, the former president said, it was an insult for the group to have bought him the form without his permission. But according to the news agency of Nigeria, a credible source in Jonathan's camp said, the former president has formally decided to V for the top office again. Jonathan logs to the incumbent president, Mohamed Buhari, in 2015 as a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. The source who spoke on condition of anonymity told Nan that the former president has formally joined the APC after registering at his OTAK ward in Bayasa. He is expected to submit the daily field forms on Thursday. Several big wings of the party have also been calling Jonathan to pledge their loyalty and support to the former president, the source said. The source told Nan political correspondent later on Wednesday that some influential African leaders had called Mr. Jonathan earlier on Monday to advise him to context the election in the interest of Nigeria. At least three top African leaders called the former president on the matter. They all urged him to run. One of them specifically told him that it did not make sense traveling all over Africa, setting disputes only to shine away from leadership responsibility in his own country. Another reminded him of the implication of failing to put the experience he jared as a former Nigerian president and as a central statesman to good use. The source also said, according to the source, some of the African leaders told Jonathan that Nigeria was passing through challenging times and indeed of a unifier like Jonathan at this time. The stars did not disclose the names of the African leaders. Sahara reporters exclusively reported on Tuesday that claims by the former president that he did not authorize the purchase of the multi-million Naira forms were far from the truth. Contrary to his deniers, the former president, Kulog Jonathan, gave over 200 million Naira to the governor of Jigawa Mohamed to purchase the APC nomination and the expression of interest forms for him. A source privy to the arrangement to Sahara reporters. Interestingly, the Jigawa governor had last week joined other interested presidential aspirants to V for the ticket of the APC by buying the 100 million Naira nomination form and expression of interest form. I will join the presidential race since everyone knows I am a highly qualified person to do the job. The governor had been quoted as saying during the APC stakeholders meeting held at government, government house in Dusty last Tuesday. The governor was also said to have told the gathering during the meeting that he was pressurized by his colleagues to contest for the presidential seat. His media aide said his principal had sought President 
Muhammad Buhari's blessing before buying the farms. But Sahara Report has learned that the Jigawa governor had bought the farms and come up with the statement as a ruse to deceive Nigerians as he was indeed working for Jonathan. It was further learned that Jonathan had backed out of the plan and swiftly come up with the denier after the APC national chairman Adulai Adamu refused to guarantee that the former president would be the consensus candidate of the ruling party. The reason why he, Jonathan, gave, gave him that the March money over 200 million naira was that he asked the governor to buy himself a form too in order to cover up the deal, the deal, the source had said. And upon purchasing the form, Jonathan alerted Buhari. Buhari told him to meet with the APC national chairman, Adulai Adamu, but Adamu said he cannot guarantee him as a consensus candidate. At that point, Jonathan started denying that he purchased the form, another source had said. Sarah reporters much earlier broke the story of how a cabal in the ruling APC had pushed for Jonathan to succeed Buhari after being impressed by how the former president never openly criticized Buhari government despite its inaptitude and insult. The APC as an opposition party, you know, held at him. Jonathan, ahead of the 2015 presidential election, the fact that Jonathan cannot spend more than one term in office if they can manage to get him there. We also not lost on the Kaaba. However, Sahara reporters had also reported how Jonathan was later called a betrayer by the Kaaba after he failed to fulfill some of the conditions given to him, including convincing some PDP governors to defect to APC. Hmm. Honestly, Jonathan is a betrayer because once Jonathan get there, he, he only going to spend four years, then hand over power back to the North. This has been the game plan all this while, but he was busy denying, denying, denying and all that. For long, he has been romancing with APC party. Okay, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. It's, it's not left for Nigerians to decide whether he will be the next president or not. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.